All right, morning everyone, Positive Pat here. It is November, Wednesday, November 15th, 2023. I'm in my place right now. A little bit off from the normal uh, structure and order of the morning routine. I've had a good long time childhood friend that's been doing really rough. Um, and last night we thought that he was gonna not make it and, and everything was set up for him to go ahead and, and pass. And then that didn't happen. And he decided he's gonna breathe on his own. and. So we don't know where that's going to go, but we're we're all we're all hopeful that maybe there there is a better outcome here. So, anyways, was at the hospital last night till about uh, I guess five this morning. So I didn't get up my normal time. Came home, got my daughter ready, did all that stuff. Um, but just knocked out my that's why I'm winded. Just knocked out the hundred push-ups and sit-ups. So I'm going to go shower right now. See you know help get my wife up and see if she needs anything with the baby. Probably go back to the hospital. Take some of my work calls there. Um, so anyways, today I'll be talking about more about this book that James Clear wrote, Atomic Habits. That's something that's big to me. I'm always trying to figure out how to have better habits. And so what I read about today, the chapter was about, you know, really crafting your environment so that, you know, the habit is, is easier, you know, don't make it difficult on yourself. Um, if you want to read, put the book somewhere where you're going to read and make sure where you're putting it is not an area that you're normally going to be doing, you know, something else. So that's something that, um... I'm, I'm trying to work with my wife on and both of us getting on the same page with certain habits because it's going to run the house a lot easier and make it easier for that one and that one to uh, grow up and have good habits as well. So did get the reading in today and yeah, just got done with the workout and that was just a big takeaway is that, you know, you really have to design your environment so that it's easier for you to keep keep up with whatever those those good habits are. So you know, like he talks about in the book, if there's a plate full of cookies and you're not even hungry, but you walk past it, you're probably gonna eat them. Or if it's, if it's apples, even if you're not hungry, that's that's now the option. So giving yourself the option of allowing good habits to happen based on how you're crafting your environment, that's really what so much of it comes down to. And it makes total sense. So I'm gonna start trying to do that in my own house. You know, this is our, our living room, so try and make this more of the playroom during the day. That's my little reading corner with the chair and all my books that I do in the morning having the bedroom be bedroom, no screens except for the phones, which I keep away from my bed to do, you know, have my alarms go off because that way you actually have to get out of bed to go turn them off. So that was my little insight for today uh, as far as the habit stuff goes. And also just had this whole thing with my, my friend, you know, watching him not, not be in a good situation or state. It has made me so grateful for everything that I do have and just, you know, the, the things that I'll complain about it's almost a privilege that I even have the ability to complain about, you know, oh, I didn't hit a specific goal financially. I didn't do these certain things. And then on top of that, Lewis House talks about sometimes who you become in that process is even more important than whatever goal you're shooting for, because you, you did make progress. You worked on yourself, which is huge. So that's all I got for today. I hope everyone's having a great day. Whoever watches this, hope you get something from it. I'm going to keep doing these. This is day three, technically number 75, but day three of trying to do these for a full 365 days consistently every day in a row. So everyone take care, stay healthy, stay positive. See you later.